Hello to all of you. Today, we will discuss what are custom tables in SPSS. I'm going to use the data set, which is an employee data set, which is available in samples folder of SPSS. It will be available with you also. Now, you go and analyze tables and custom tables. Click OK, and it will give you a canvas. Now, depending upon your requirement, you can activate the statistics which you want and the variables which you want. So this is a canvas for you. It is simply drag and drop. So what I'll do, I'll pick up gender from here, drag it and drop it into the columns. So it is giving me the count. Now I want the mean salary of male and female. So I'll pick up the salary from here and I'll drop it into the rows. So mean of current salary, mean of mean uh, of uh, female salary, mean salary of male, current. Now click on summary statistics. If you want some more statistics, click here, transfer median. I want median also. Apply to selection, close. And you will get mean median of female, mean median of male. Click OK. And you got the answer. Now, let us go back from here, custom tables, click OK, and try to work again. Now, this time, we'll take gender in rows. And salary in columns. Let us click on summary statistics, activate the median again. Apply to selection, close, click OK. Just a minute. Apply median, apply to selection, close, yeah. click OK. Now let me remove this. Yeah. The same output I have got in different format. Now, Let's go back into the custom tables and what else it can do for us. You can select the position from here. You want rows, the output to be in rows or columns. So if I activate rows, click OK, and I'll get the output in different format. See the same output I'm getting in three different format. Okay, let's go into the custom tables, click OK. Now I want to create the layers layers in the sense I want to create, I want to introduce another variable. So say for example, I want the job category also to be introduced. So simply drag it and drop it here. So job category, clerical, gender, female, male, please generate the statistics which are relevant to it. Uh, let us change this to columns, much better, click OK. And you, can, you got the answer, clerical, gender, female, mean, median, Clerical gender male, mean median. So that way you got this statistics. Now let us go back again. Custom tables. Click OK. If I click on compact, I'll get the compact output of each category. Click OK. So clerical, gender, male, female. So this is for the compact result if I want. Now let us go back. Click OK. I will activate the layers here. So make sure in layers you are having a categorical variable. So here I will pick up, um, so for example, employment category, yeah, person is present in minority or not. Layers, click OK. So you will get the output in this format. This output and this output almost look similar, but when you click here, here, it will have a small drop down menu. So, if a person is present in minority, no. If a person is present in minority, yes. What are the results? So, you can have a drop down menu from here. So, this is a way you can utilize the custom tables to generate the desired output for your data set. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.